da 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 The cry of Father Miguel Hidalgo. In the year 1807, France and Spain were fighting for control of the Iberian Peninsula. Also during this time, Toussaint Overture was leading a revolution in Haiti. Ideas of equality in the European nations began to spread in the Spanish colonies. I think people should be treated equally, regardless of what ethnicity they are. Yeah, even if they're from a lower social class or have a different religion. Yes, I agree. A Mexican priest began to hear these ideas of enlightenment and realized that Mexico needed change. So, in his famous speech known as the Cry of Dolores, he rallied a whole army of Mexican men in under five minutes, and thus the revolution began. Shout out to Miss Bell and Coach Woods. This is for you funky WAP teachers, and all the revolutionaries. We were tired of Spain's rule. It was for three centuries. Like a on a sombrero of a favorite suit. So while Spain got invaded, I heard it over the Lord's. And by the end of his speech, there was this call that I heard. Someone please come and help us We really don't like Spain We hate all of them bogus They don't have half a brain We want a revolution tonight Someone please be brave This day could be much more Mexico, let's escape Hidalgo and his men set on a march through Mexico seizing cities and gaining supporters. His men consisted mostly of Creoles who had been denied positions in the government replaced by Spaniards. Onwards to the city of San Miguel. Hidalgo's first move was to rid the cities of Spanish rule. No! The pain! Only thing that matters! Viva la revolución! Forward! To the city of Kalea. We have reached the city of Kalea. Onward, my fellow comrades. Who, who is it? It's freedom. We have been helped by the Virgin of Guadalupe. Onwards to the city of Quan Hato. Kill these Spanish cowards. Who's that? Is that Father Hidalgo? Oh yes, Father Hidalgo, the leader of this rebel group within the Mexican population that's revolting against the Spanish crown. Do you know why they're doing it? Probably because we mistreated them. Of course, we mistreated the Creole population, or at least the Spanish crown did, and now the priest, the leader of this rebellious group, is now instituting these new enlightenment reforms that occurred in past time Europe. Now, what do we do? We have to get- Let's bar barricade ourselves in. We have to get word out to General Creole. Let's kill these Spaniards. Ah! Onwards to the ultimate goal, Mexico City. Hidalgo. General Trujillo. I have been sent by the Viceroy to curb your march to Mexico City. With only limited troops due to such a short notice. Ah! Die! Ah! <laughs> oh. Alas, we must retreat. Too many Mexicans would die if we invaded Mexico City. Death of you, Hidalgo. The flame of the Mexican rebellion will die. No, others will replace me. Like whom? Jose Maria Morelos. Go. Viva Mexico! Did this beheading of Hidalgo bring an end to the Mexican Revolution? I can feel it. There's been a disturbance. Hidalgo has died. I, Jose Maria Morello, must take leadership of the Mexican Rebellion, introduce new guerrilla warfare, and take my first targets, Oaxaca and Acapulco. In 1920, after Hidalgo's death, 
A constitution was written, and a year later, Mexico gained its independence from Spain. But there were downsides to the revolution of Mexico. So this one's dedicated to the Creoles that help support our ideals. If you're near or far, whether short or tall, we want to thank you all. All modern nuts sick and die. Doesn't matter, main man. Head dog will got executed. Doesn't matter, main man. Spain was already weak. Doesn't matter, main man. So cold 11 years. Still counts. We just made man. Would Mexico be able to gain independence from Spain? Viva Mexico, coming to theaters near you.